waffles. We're starting with 20. It's a two minute contest. So whoever can eat the most in two minutes. Uh, so yeah, two minutes, they're pretty crunchy, but I think it'll be okay. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we are in, I don't even know where we are, I forget, something crossing? I'm bad with names. What is it? In Great Lakes Crossing in Auburn Hills, Michigan, here for the Hummus and Pita Co. Falafel Eating Competition. So they've done this four different times. They do it when they open a new store. So they're opening a new store here. Um, there's first place cash prize of 250 bucks, second place prize of $100 gift card, third place prize of a $50 gift card. Uh, there's gonna be, I don't know how many contestants. I believe it's how many falafels you can eat in two minutes. So let's see what we can do. I don't know what to expect, so let's go. Falafel eating contest, our fourth ever falafel eating contest. The first one here in Michigan, first one in Auburn Hills. Can we get another hooray for the Great, Great Lakes Mall? <laughs> We're gonna go over the rules. We'll get that done and over with. Uh, so it's two minutes. All contestants must be 18 years of age or older. Winners decided by the number of falafels consumed in two measurements. Two minutes. Food could not be touched or manipulated by eaters prior to start. Eaters can drink as much room temperature or colder liquid while eating. You can stick as many falafels in your mouth as you want. Any food that passes the lips into the mouth, picnic style rules will be enforced. Food cannot be dumped in liquids, but you can request tahini sauce. Food cannot be separated, torn, or otherwise modified. For this event, falafel must be picked up and eaten, eaten as they are intended to be. Any reversal during the two minute eating contest will result in immediate disqualification. After two minutes, a 30 second chip monkey rule is enforced, where any food that remains in mouth must be cleared or eaten in 30 seconds without using hands to clear it. Eating, eaters must show an empty mouth at the end of the 30 second mark or prior. If any food remains in the mouth, a penalty will be ass assessed, the deduction of one falafel. After the two minute contest is over, a five minute no reversal rule is enforced, concurrent with the chipmunking rule, where any food that is eaten must remain down for five minutes after the eating contest is over, and all judges' decisions are final. Come on, you ready? Let's go, baby, let's go! All right, it's All right, here we go. I'm gonna count down from three. When I get to one, we're going, all right? Three, Watch you don't hit the tripod, okay? two, one, go! Hey, everybody, welcome to today's video, and because this is a contest and I don't really want to give anything away, I'm going to let you get to the video, get to the contest, and I'm going to give you the commentary and my thoughts actually after the video. So with that, everybody, watch and enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you very shortly.
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Food down. Chipmunk period. Nobody walk away. Chipmunk period for 30 seconds, guys. How many do you need? 25? We ran out, though. We ran out? Yeah. Well, we had more. Yeah. Well, Did you have more time? Or did you We got a tie. So it was a tie. 25 and 25. Um, I ran out though at the end though, so I could have got a couple more. So that's disappointing. Gotta make sure it doesn't happen for this final round. The finals of the Hummus and Pita Falafel Eating Contest. Joel and Matt, first to finish 20 falafels wins. You guys ready? Yeah. On my go. On your mark. Get set, go! No manipulating, remember. This is hardcore right here. This is where you separate everybody from these guys. Finish 20 wins. Joel's still fighting. That's down to the last one. It's in his mouth. Joel's getting close. That's got one. Joel's got one left. Winner is in. By one. Very impressive, gentlemen. Very impressive. Let's nice go. Second place, hip dog in third. Nice job. So we're here with the winner, Mr. Matt. Matt does some uh, eating in the area, if I understand myself. I heard you won. Local, local in Michigan. Won hop, Hopcat contest? Won uh, Ann Arbor Hopcat. Uh, nice. Huge congratulations to him, my friend. Congrats on winning. Thank you. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Definitely yeah. some good competition. I also want to give a huge shout out to G. G is the franchise owner here at the uh, new Hummus and Pita Co. in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Super cool guy. He's being more than generous. So thank you very much, G. I appreciate it. And uh, wish you luck with the store here. Until next time. All right, just leaving the contest now. Um, so that was a cool contest. My mouth is like totally raw. Like I'm tasting blood just from the falafels. They were like hard and crunchy, and they would like rip your mouth up. Um, so pretty difficult food to eat. Um, I wish, objectively, I did not run out of falafels in the first round, uh, but Matt in the second round absolutely killed it, so con huge congratulations to him for uh, getting first place. Um, I'm sure we'll cross paths again. He's a really cool guy. We've been talking, we talked for like a while uh, after the contest. He's been doing eating for like 15 years or something, um, but really good eater, skilled guy. Um, so with that, everybody, I'm going to get on with, I don't know, some other shenanigans very briefly before I... Uh, leave Michigan, head back to Canada. We're starting to head that way now. Might do a food challenge, but uh, yeah. So with that, everybody, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. But the fun doesn't end there today. So as I promised, here's just a little bit of closing commentary. So uh, the falafels were bigger than a golf ball. They were very, very hard. Um, that's not what she said. Uh, they were these 
balls that had no moisture, rock hard, deep fried, uh, water and sauce did not help coat the falafel in any way. The falafel did not absorb any liquid, so it was just difficult to eat, at least for myself. I also found uh, myself almost choking them a couple times, so I was trying to really be careful about that. Um, this ex contest was a great learning experience. I learned a lot. Um, the second round, I did not apply myself the way that I should have. Um, I was kind of distracted. I was looking over at the other contestant, etc., etc. So a great learning experience. I'm very thankful for this time. It was overall a great uh, contest as well. Really enjoyed it. Great sponsor. Great hospitality of the venue there. And so yeah, no complaints. And everybody, until next time. I hope you enjoyed.